Hi guys, this is Pradeep, hope you are doing good. Today we will understand the difference between plant cost, actual cost and the target cost in a production order in SAP. I know it's very confusing always uh, and this confusion is very common when uh, and especially when you are working on SAP controlling module particularly on product costing or even if you are working on the manufacturing side this very often like your management will ask this question what is the target cost uh, during this uh, production process and in this video I will explain the difference between all the scenarios when we are going to calculate the plant cost when we are going to calculate the target cost and how it is different from the actual cost and which stays which cost we are going to calculate let's take three examples of the cost calculation so first one I'm going to take here that is plant cost so what is plant cost and when we are going to calculate now let's say we have created the production order and uh, when we have created the production order and we have released the production order so production order created and it is released that time if we want we can calculate the plant cost some people used to say it is preliminary cost nothing but it is a plant cost only because here what what all the component we are going to take whether it is your material component your activity component or your uh, any overhead so everything we are going to take your plant cost so let's say today we have created the production order in pp module and the production order created and released at that moment we want to calculate the plant cost so if we will continue with this manufacturing so what is our cost expected so that is the first phase of cost calculation and that we are going to calculate again the components everything will be there as usual so here bill of material bomb will be there routing will be there so in routing you are going to add various type of activities like your labor labor machine uh, different other activities will be there so everything will be as usual it's just like we uh, when we have calculated the standard price so if we'll take one practical example so let's say we are going to manufacture uh, bicycle and for this bicycle manufacturing we need uh, some components and how many quantities we are going to manufacture we are going to manufacture 10 bicycles so to 10 manu uh, to manufacture this 10 bicycles so we have to find out the plant cost and this plant cost we have calculated assume that it is 1000 INR so on what basis I have calculated this cost so let's take a very simple example so material cost is let's say uh, 600 labor cost is 300 I have just taken for simplicity purpose I have taken only one activity but in reality different activities will be there so labor cost will be 300 and your overhead cost will be 100 so in this way if you are going to manufacture 10 bicycles then our total cost accordingly it will be calculated so what will be the total cost of the bicycle so it will be 1000 into 10 so that will be our standard cost so we have calculated our plant cost on the basis of the manufacturing process so as soon as we are going to create and release this production order for this 10 bicycles so our plant cost will be 1000 into 10 that will be 10,000 so this is on the basis of our bill of material and routing and if you check this particular image this is one actual uh, scenario where uh, we have different components this one is just a dummy example but this is the xp screen extraction so that means here if you are going to manufacture this particular biscuit so in this biscuit manufacturing different components are there so this includes this biscuit base so this biscuit base again one semi finished product and uh, like with that we have included some other materials like we have included so the packing materials that is your pack wrapper then we have added our activity related cost then we have some overheads are there and finally the cost is calculated that is 48.50 INR or whatever we have calculated now this is your plant cost and this plant cost we have calculated with reference to one production order now actual manufacturing not yet started just we have calculated the production order with reference to your production order as were your cost calculation process the plant cost is calculated hope up to this it is clear now coming to the next cost calculation that is your target cost suppose during this production we are going to manufacture nine bicycles again i'm taking the base of this particular example so we are supposed to manufacture 10 bicycles but in the production process we have completed nine bicycles so and and, and accordingly accordingly we are going to process our goods receipt so gr will be processed goods receipt will be processed 9000 so we have calculated our standard cost 1000 so as per that if you are going to manufacture nine bicycles so what should be our target cost that is 9000 so 9 
which is our actual production and our plant cost which is 1000 so accordingly our target cost calculated as 9000 so target cost is calculated on the basis of your actual output so here we uh, we are showing that the cost should have calculated on the basis of our actual output so target cost is nothing but whatever we have planned or whatever the cost we have calculated that is our standard cost and whatever the actual quantities we have manufactured now why this target cost is so important and why this cost will be calculated because here you can see these are all act not your actual figures these are your planned figures this target cost is helpful for the management to understand the performance imagine you are the plant manager and you want to know uh, whether my team is performed efficiently or not because here instead of 10 we have actually manufactured 9 so team performance we want to evaluate so for that purpose target cost is important so do we use more resources than the plant right so that analysis is also possible if you are going to have the target cost now target cost answers the comparison between your actual cost which we are going to calculate next with your plant cost per unit now 1000 is your plant cost but actual cost will be different because we are going to use the actual component or actual cost um, actual data we are going to include so that's why for that purpose target cost is very important although in the cost calculation process it is report to your managerial or management accounting point of view in a books of finance point of view this cost will not be there in finance point of view we are once we have calculated your actual cost that we are going to take but still analysis point of view this cost is very very important or this calculation cost calculation is very important all this in detail i am uh, covering or i am configuring in my live sessions so you can check this course content and here you can see this this is all like this scenario i have taken from my product costing so product costing includes the standard cost the plant cost then we have target cost then we have simultaneous cost and the actual cost now here i have extracted some figures related to our cost calculation now if i check this particular image the upper one if it is a comparison between your target cost as well as actual cost so i said that target cost is very full, very helpful for the comparison purpose now in this case you can see actual cost is calculated 121.24 which i will explain next and the target cost is 38.81 on the basis of your actual quantities now total actual quantities and total plant quantities if you check the extreme right col column you will find the total plant quantity is 5 whereas actual quantity we have manufactured 4 so accordingly other items will be there so target cost now you can see this image 38.81 how we have calculated its different components are available and this is a comparison between your actual cost so that's why target cost uh, you should not ignore in cost calculation process although nowhere in the books of account you will find this one particularly fi point of view but still it is important for management decision purpose the target cost because ultimately we are going to uh, take a lot of decisions on the basis of this target cost now coming to the actual cost and this is more like the most important one because uh, anyway we have used here the actual data so this cost will be calculated when the actual production is going to happen initial cost we have calculated for the planning purpose target cost on the basis of your actual quantity manufacturing and the actual cost we are going to take target cost we have calculated plant actual quantities whereas the plant data the values and all plant whereas actual cost we are going to calculate when we are going to issue the goods now when uh, we have planned the uh, we have calculated the plant cost so that time as for my example what was the material cost it is 600 whereas when we are going to calculate your actual cost of the material so my material cost is 6500 because it is quite quite obvious when we will start manufacturing so actual data we are going to capture so goods issue for your raw material is 6500 labor confirmation cost is 3200 overhead cost is 1200 these are all your actual data and how we will get this actual data from various act your real uh, postings means your fi from your mm these are the actual data we are going to consider here for this cost calculation whereas plant cost we have calculated on the basis of historical data so my plant cost was 10,000 for 10 items if we are going to manufacture 10 items then plant cost was 1000 into 10 that is 10,000 whereas here my actual cost for this 9 items which we have manufactured 9 bicycles it is 10,900 right so that's why always actual cost will be calculated 
in with actual data and this actual cast for example purpose this is all the informations are available readily but when we are going to really process the calculation this cost will be calculated per, per, uh, for example let's say we are going to calculate our overhead. So overhead will not be calculated when we are going to calculate our simultaneous cost. Overhead will be calculated in month and after completion of the revaluation. So we have to calculate simultaneous cost also. And in another video, I am going to explain in detail about the simultaneous cost. So after simultaneous cost calculation, we are going to calculate the actual cost or this is our actual cost related to production. So here we are going to consider, I mean here, uh, we are going to do the revaluation we are going to con uh, calculation of overheads so all this will be there in the month end so in month end or this cost we are going to calculate so these are uh, this cost will be calculated on real transactions which will be there in the different module so during the production we are going to perform various type of cost components and then I, only we are going to calculate our actual cost and you can see this particular uh, extraction from the SAP system so which is 120 1.2 or 121.24 uh, okay and uh, here you will find the actual cost always greater than your plant cost due to your maybe you can say uh, differences right so it may be higher material uses maybe higher labor cost or your activity cost is uh, actual activity cost is more than your plant activities cost this is obvious and it will be always there so that's why you can see here my actual cost if you will compare this sap example which uh, the scenario related to the baking uh, biscuit manufacturing so my actual cost is 121.24 with actual data my target cost is uh, 38.81 you can see here and the plant cost was 48.50 so here plant cost was the full the complete production cycle whatever we have we have planned that means by this product end of this production cycle we will complete this many items in my case it is five items suppose but actually how much we have calculated or we have manufactured it is four accordingly we have calculated the target cost and accordingly we have calculated the overhead uh, uh, sorry the actually we have calculated the target cost on the basis of actual data and accordingly we have calculated your actual cost on the basis of your actual data so i hope you got some clarity about plant cost relate and the target cost and the actual cost if you need more clarity so i can add more scenarios in this list because uh, uh, very often you will find in interview this type of questions the difference between all this cost or on which stage which cost you are going to calculate so once you'll try this one in the system with some real examples you will get more clarity any question feel free to mail me or add in the comments happy to help you thank you